now live at 5. All eyes are on the stock market after a big sell-off on Monday. I'm Michael George on Wall Street with how it could impact your pocketbook. Plus, it's Grandma's Marathon Week in Duluth. Details on a route change that both runners and fans will want to know about. And later... We take you inside a brand new North Shore campground and all it has to offer coming up. You're watching Live at 5 on Live Local CBS 3. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Kristen Bakke. And I'm Briggs LaSavage. Stocks made modest gains after all three major indexes tanked Monday. The S&P 500 began the day in bear market territory. That means it's falling fast and now 20% below its January high. All eyes are now on the Federal Reserve, which could respond to inflation with its biggest interest rate hike in more than two decades. Michael George reports from Wall Street. Stocks finished mixed following a Monday freefall that sent the S&P 500 into bear market territory. It's significant. They don't happen that often, but about a dozen times since World War II. CBS News business analyst Jill Schlesinger says soaring inflation and the likelihood of more interest rate hikes continue to rattle investors. I'm down big. It's, it's amazing where I was two years ago. It's incomparable to where I am today. With the national average for a gallon of gas now topping $5, many Americans are taking a hard look at their retirement portfolios and their budgets. As a family, we will be focused on our spending and our saving, you know, hunkering down. Investors and businesses are bracing for Wednesday's decision from the Federal Reserve on interest rates to fight soaring inflation. The Federal Reserve has to thread this needle. By raising interest rates, right. what's happening is they could actually tip us into a recession if they go too far too fast. Speaking at an organized labor convention, President Biden put the blame on Republicans in Congress. The problem is Republicans in Congress are doing everything they can to stop my plans to bring down costs on ordinary families. That's why my plan is not finished. It's unclear how long the bear market will last, so analysts recommend investors pay down debt and keep their money in the market in anticipation of a rebound. Michael George, CBS News, New York. Analysts say a silver lining for falling stocks is that the investors who buy now are getting in at low levels. That could pay off when the markets rebound. The cost to upgrade a key piece of Great Lakes shipping infrastructure is skyrocketing. There are plans in the works to fix up the Sioux locks in Michigan, but now Congress has to reapprove the funding because it's estimated that the price tag has tripled due to inflation and material costs. The federal government was originally authorized to spend $922 million. U.S. Senator Debbie Stabenow says the upgrade will have to happen one way or another, but she's frustrated with this rising cost. She says the project is essential for both trade and economic activity. The fact that material costs and other costs have gone up right now because of inflation is something we know down the road we may have to deal with, but I've been able to protect current funding, have it continue for the next several years, and then we'll assess where we are at that point on the cost. Most of the country's iron ore passes through the Sioux Locks, headed from the Twin Ports to steel mills in Michigan, Ohio, and Pennsylvania. No charges will be filed against the superior police officer who unknowingly ran over a man lying in the road. That decision coming from Douglas County District Attorney Mark Fruhoff today. After months of reviewing the state's investigation, he found there's no evidence showing Officer Joshua Sislo committed a crime. The incident happened the night of February 19th on North 8th Street and Tower Avenue. Sislo, who had only been on the job about nine months, was searching for a man prowling cars. Superior Police released dash cam video of the incident. In the far right-hand corner of your screen, you can see a person wearing dark colors on the side of the street. Officer Sislo continues to drive the car, and in the video, you can see his car rocking um, from running over something. Sislo claims he felt his squad car hit a bump. But when he looked in his mirror and didn't see anything, he thought it must have been snow or ice. Later, police got a 911 call saying someone was lying in the road. Police say Sislo returned to the area and saw the person. He realized he had been in that same area and told his sergeant he may have driven over the victim. 
In his findings, Fruhoff said Sislo was not impaired or on his phone at the time. He also said evidence is consistent with Sislo's reports that he couldn't see anyone in the road, a view that would have been blocked by snow and a tree planter. The person was also wearing dark clothing and it was dark outside at the time. Fruhoff also points out that Sislo was the first person to tell his supervisor he may have been involved. Authorities have not identified the victim, but said in April they were out of the hospital and recovering at home. Sislo was on leave after the incident, but returned in March. Next time you're looking for a place to stay up the North Shore, you'll have a new spot to consider at Split Rock Lighthouse State Park. CBS 3's Gwyn Gorham hit the road today to check out the Shipwreck Creek Campground and all the unique features it has to offer. Split Rock Lighthouse is an iconic North Shore landmark, but now the Shipwreck Creek Campground has opened up a brand new area of the park for people to come and explore. The campground began construction back in 2019 and was completed this past spring. On June 1st, it opened to the public for the first time. The brand new area features 46 campsites and a state-of-the-art shower and bathroom facility. Each site also comes with electrical hookups for campers and trailers to use. The campground was connected to the rest of the state park through a newly paved road that goes under Highway 61, providing access to amenities like electricity and running water. To power the area, there are plans to install solar panels off-site, somewhere that should be able to provide plenty of sunlight. Katie Fauché, who serves as the park manager for the site, says it was a group effort to get the project done, and it's nice to see the hard work finally pay off. This project would not have been possible without the collaborative efforts from everyone. It definitely takes everyone doing the best they can to make this happen. The expansion project also adds 22 miles of mountain bike trails between the Shipwreck Creek Campground and the Cove Point Lodge in Beaver Bay. The facility was funded by $7.5 million from the Parks and Trails Legacy Fund, with an additional $1.6 million coming from a grant from Lake County to help build the new road. All right, thanks, Quinn. As of this month, the campground is open to the public, and the site is taking reservations online. Dave turns us for a quick look at the weather. Not a bad week down the site booked at that campground. Well, maybe come Thursday. Right now, we've got a whole slew of alerts to talk about yet again. So we go to the map. We'll start up north and work our way to the south. As usual, flood warning continues till further notice for northern Kuchiching and St. Louis counties near International Falls, especially then just west of International Falls. Well, actually including International Falls. Kuchiching and Itasca counties looking at a thunderstorm watch, a severe thunderstorm watch until 10 o'clock tonight. And just west of those two counties in Beltrami and Lake of the Woods County, there is a severe thunderstorm paying off, which may approach that zone in the next half hour or so. Then into central Minnesota and Wisconsin, there's that heat advisory we worried about. That's in effect until 8 p.m. And, of course, for boaters, Lake Superior has a small craft advisory this evening. And for swimmers... There's a rip current alert for Park Point and Wisconsin Point. Good night to stay home as twin low pressure systems work through the area. They're bringing thunderstorms near the Canadian border tonight to the rest of the region tomorrow. So our quick look at the short-term forecast says border storms tonight, lows in the mid-50s, then 50 to 70 percent chances for storms for the rest of us tomorrow. But these storms will feast on that heat that's causing the advisory right now and mellow out the temps. We'll talk about for how long in just a bit. Thanks, Dave. Still to come on Live at 5, a local author is giving back to her community in more ways than one. Her story coming up in City by City. Watch Dave Anderson weeknights at 5, 6, and 10. Dude, great ride. Right? The Silverado keeps me connected and in control. And this touchscreen is my command center. Uh, my command center. The 2022 Silverado LT. Find new control. Find new roads. Well-qualified buyers can get 1.9% financing on all 2022 Silverado 1500 pickups. Or order your next Chevy at your local dealership. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer.
handcrafted for every lifestyle. Making memories since 1882. In store at 365 Canal Park Drive or online at DuluthPack.com. Guess what? UCARE Medicare Advantage plans are now five-star rated. The highest possible score for member experience and satisfaction. A big thank you to all our members for the kind words and positive experiences that made this happen. And if you have any questions about your plan or benefits, our helpful decomplicators and five-star planners are always ready to steer you straight. Even through this stuff. You care. People-powered health plans. Celebrate the dad or grad in your life with a gift from Numi Jewelers. Come shop with us. True love is guaranteed at Numi Jewelers. I'm Nora O'Donnell in our nation's capital. We're here at the White House with the President of the United States. Thanks for having me. Our exclusive access to the presidential platform. We will witness yet another moment in history. The CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell from Washington, D.C. Welcome back to the CBS 3 News Live at 5. Here's a live look from downtown Duluth tonight. While the rest of the region faces the summer's first heat wave, Duluth has been shrouded in fog all day. Dave will be in with this week's full forecast in just a few minutes. But first, let's take a look around the region. Monitoring road conditions and weather conditions in Minnesota and an upcoming trail association meeting in Ironwood. All of that and more as we take you around the Northland, city by city. We start things off in Hayward tonight, where a local author is giving back to her community. Christine Ocho is the author of No Pooping on the Dock, The Owl and the Loony, Wacky, Crazy and Naughty Ducks. Quite the title. <laughs> it's currently for sale in Hayward and Cable, with a portion of the proceeds going to the Hayward Library Foundation and the Winged Freedom Raptor Hospital, a 100% donation and volunteer-based organization in Spooner. She has also written a fiction novel called Campfire Confessions. All proceeds from that book will go to the previously mentioned organizations, as well as the Northwoods Humane Society and Women's Ovarian Cancer Organization. And next, we're in northeastern Minnesota, where motorists may see some short-term lane closures. The closures will take place as crews place road weather information systems at 10 locations across the Arrowhead. The systems are used to collect weather data and gather information for future maintenance decisions. RWIS information is sent to the National Weather Service as well as the 511 Traveler Info System. Those 10 new stations will be located in Aiken, Carleton, Cook, Itasca, Lake and St. Louis counties. The project should be complete by October. And we wrap up in Ironwood, Michigan tonight with a notice to trail users in that area. The Gogebic Range Trail Authority will be hosting their June meeting a week from today. At the business meeting, they will address the potential purchase of a shipping container and adding a second groomer barn. Additionally, they'll also talk about getting signs out on the trails, the 4th of July parade in Besmer, and uh, some branding updates, too. The meeting will be held at 6 p.m. at Rigoni's Inn. If there's something going on in your neighborhood that you think we should know about, send us an email, and it might be featured as we go around the Northland city by city. Still to come on Live at 5, it's Grandma's Marathon Week. What runners and residents need to know about this year's route in just a few minutes. Some inland towns have the threat of the 90s today, others the 80s, and by the lake, cooler conditions, which paid off only 68 at the airport in Duluth. Well, with storms coming in tomorrow to feast on the heat and convert that into rain, we will be dialing the temperatures back, but not forever. I'll talk about when the next heat wave could come, coming up after our break. Hi, everyone. I'm Natalie Grant. I am so excited to be waking up with you every weekday from 5 to 7 right here on CBS3. Wake up with Natalie and Peter on CBS3. Had a really great experience with the instructors. There's been times where I wanted to give up or drop out, but I have had instructors push me and make me realize that I can be successful if I just put my mind to it. Here's an important message from the Diabetes Solution Center. Diabetics understand all too well the pain of pricking your fingers. But now, by wearing a small remote device called a Continuous Glucose Monitor, or CGM, you can immediately reduce your pain. 
It's easy to use and helps you make more accurate diabetes treatment decisions. If you are testing your blood sugar four or more times daily, injecting insulin three or more times daily, or using an insulin pump, call the Diabetes Solution Center right now to learn about this groundbreaking new CGM technology. And if you have Medicare, you can get a new CGM at little to no out-of-pocket cost. Shipping is free, and we'll even bill your insurance company for you. If you are testing your blood sugar four or more times daily, injecting insulin three or more times daily, or using an insulin pump, call the Diabetes Solution Center right now to learn how you can get your own continuous glucose monitor or CGM at little to no out-of-pocket cost. Real encounters with God are life-changing. Join us Sundays at 11.30 for The Message of Good Hope and learn how you can reach your highest potential through a relationship with Christ. Only on the Duluth CW. Get your news on the go. The CBS 3 mobile app. A brand new campground up here on the North Shore takes you inside nature. We tell you how coming up. Fairly calm tonight, but storms to rumble tomorrow. Tonight at 6 on Live Local CBS 3. If you love them enough to crawl into a play place to get them to come down, then surely you'll check NHTSA.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're in the right car seat. Now, the CBS 3 Duluth Weather Max forecast with meteorologist Dave Anderson. As promised, temperatures today were all over the board. From the southwest came a heat wave. The heat wave that conquered the west just a couple of days ago. Now it's coming our way. But a very high easterly wind sure kept things cooler by the lakes. Looking at these current temperatures, well, we've got 81 in Hibbing, 83 in Grand Rapids, 90 for Hinkley and for Hayward, 88 Solon Springs, 87 for Ironwood, and 83 in Watersmeet. But only 60 for the Bayfield Peninsula, upper 40s for Superior and Park Point here in the Duluth area, 57 right now at the airport, 59 for Cloquet, and cool up the North Shore. Now with lows coming in, uh, that's going to feast on that heat and humidity and then make it a little bit cooler for those inland areas and maybe even warm things up just a little bit tomorrow for the lakeside areas. Then we're going to dry up. For several days so there's a chance for some storms for some folks tonight and then a good chance for everybody to get some tomorrow after that we start to go towards the sunny side and right now we're partly cloudy at the airport at Duluth of 57 the current temp there southeast winds going 11 miles per hour relative humidity 83 percent barometric pressure 29.6 to the Doppler map Again, we've got a pair of low-pressure systems coming our way. They're connected by an occluded front. And the first one is within range of borderland here. And right now, we're looking at a severe thunderstorm warning going on for perhaps the next half hour for parts of Lake of the Woods County and Beltrami County. But uh, Kuchichin County, Itasca County, off the hook for now. Just be ready, you two. You're in the severe thunderstorm watch until 10 o'clock tonight, so that could travel your way. Do be cautious. It could fire up and drop, well, some uh, big hail and some high winds. The rest of the region, clouds are increasing, but not much in the way of precip right now. That could change tomorrow as the twin lows work through the area. 50% chance for thunderstorms tomorrow in Minnesota, 70% chance for Wisconsin and for Michigan. And uh, by Thursday, these lows should be out of range. And like I mentioned, things are going to dry up. But Wednesday could be a little bit of a bumpy day. In general, for Minnesota, the thunderstorms will just be the general ones, not severe. Much of Wisconsin will be that way as well. But from parts of Bayfield County through Ashland, Iron, and Gogebic counties closer to the lake, there is a chance for some severe weather there and a better chance for severe weather in the southern parts of those counties. So we will be under the gun a little bit through tomorrow night. We'll have to watch out and also watch our rain gauges for rain totals like this, which could go towards three quarters of an inch for International Falls, maybe just a tenth for the rest of Minnesota, but towards Wisconsin, Michigan, we're looking at for many towns about a half inch to even an inch. Now tonight we're looking at Minnesota to get storms up near the border with lows from 49 to 55. For Wisconsin and Michigan, mostly cloudy, but should be dry. 49 to 62 for the lows. Cooler by the lake, warmer inland. For tomorrow, 70% storm chance for Wisconsin and the UP with highs from 73 to 79. So already we step down temperature-wise. Minnesota, 60s by the lake, 70s inland, 50-50 shot at those showers and storms. And then, according to the seven-day forecast, high pressure takes over 
and it becomes a little bit cooler and a little bit sunnier all the way through Saturday. Come Sunday, look at that. Even for the Twin Ports, we're going to get towards 90 degrees. So this first heat wave lasted a day. It looks like the second one for the latter half of the coming weekend could go for two days, 90 Sunday, 89 for Monday, probably warmer inland. And then again next Monday, storms feed on that heat and temperatures step back by Tuesday. Yeah, I know a lot of people with some big projects going on right now. So mm. they're they're preparing for the rain. <laughs> they're keeping a close eye on your forecast, Dave. Uh, but they're looking forward to a couple of dry days. <laughs> yeah, dry and tolerable for at least a chunk of the week ahead. Okay. Thanks, Dave. Well, a heads up for folks running Grandma's Marathon this weekend. The course will be back to its normal route. That means just past the Pickwick, runners will stay on Superior Street instead of dipping down to Michigan Street to avoid construction. The Vendor Expo opens Thursday at the deck, but the racing kicks off Friday night with the William A. Irvin 5K. Then Saturday morning, it's the half marathon runners crossing the starting line at 6 a.m. And those daring enough to take on the full marathon will start in two harbors at 7.45. And ahead of this year's race, we want to shout out those running. So if you know someone who's running the 5K, the half marathon, or even the full marathon, let us know. Send us an email with the runner's name and hometown to comments at cbs3duluth.com. And we'll feature those runners during this Friday's City by City. The city celebrated a piece of Duluth history today. During World War II, the Japanese peace bell was stolen from a temple in Ohara. Somehow it ended up in Duluth. After a Japanese delegate recognized the bell during a trip to the Twin Ports, Duluth leaders quickly sent it back. Ohara's mayor thanked the city in a letter sent to former Mayor George Johnson 70 years ago. Mayor Johnson's daughter kept that letter and today presented it to current Mayor Emily Larson, who says it's a great example of Duluth's connection to the world. It's really wonderful how many layers there are to our stories and our humanity and our connections to one another around the world. Duluth is now home to an exact replica of the Japanese Peace Bell, which you can find in Anger Park, an exchange that helped form Duluth's sister city with O'Hara. It's that time of the show now where we get to talk about adoptable pets. And today's pet comes to us from Precious Paws Humane Society in Chisholm. Yeah, this is Kelly. She's a two-year-old medium hair cat looking for a place to call home. Our friends at the shelter tell us she is a lover. She loves to snuggle up and get all, and she gets along with all pets. She's also good with other cats and with kids to all around, just a really well-rounded cat here. Yeah, well-named cat, too. It's so funny when animals have human names. <laughs> yes. We know that. Our dogs have they human do. names. Kelly the cat. <laughs> too cute. <laughs> we love it. If you'd like to set up an appointment to adopt Kelly, you can call the number on your screen. Still to come, intense rainfall and rapid snow melt has led to devastating flooding in Yellowstone. A look at the destruction next. Before you buy a used vehicle, checking the brake fluid, engine mount, cooling fan, transmission fuel injector, brake pads, coolant, wheel line, batteries, software updates might not be on your list, but it's on our list of 172 inspection points performed by Ford factory trained technicians on every gold certified Ford Blue Advantage used vehicle. Plus, with Ford Blue Advantage, get our 14 day or 1,000 mile money back guarantee to ensure peace of mind when purchasing your vehicle. Search conveniently, buy confidently. It's used car buying that's built for you by your Ford dealer. Are you over 50? Would you like to get up to 33% more income in retirement? Then call now for this free book, Annuity Do's and Don'ts for Baby Boomers, from a leading financial firm on maximizing your income in retirement. That's right, free. This free book reveals little-known secrets about annuity strategies in simple-to-understand terms that will help you make the right choices before buying an annuity. And it's free. Call right now for your free book. And as a bonus, we'll also throw in a free annuity rate report. We researched over 1,200 annuities and summarized the rates and benefits of annuities from financially strong insurers. Again, that's annuity do's and don'ts for baby boomers and a free annuity rate report, both absolutely free, for calling Annuity General today. Supplies are limited. Call now. Call 800-816-8219. That's 800-816-8219. Dear Slippery Slope, it's me, Camry All-Wheel Drive. Come what may. Get a grip, Camry All-Wheel Drive. Toyota, let's go places. 
When building, you hire a team of specialists to ensure your house turns out exactly as you imagined. Major financial transitions like retirement deserve the same level of care and craftsmanship. At MPPL Financial, we assemble a diverse team of experts to develop a plan to ensure you only have to retire once. Call today for your free second opinion consultation so your retirement turns out exactly as you imagined. MPPL Financial, answers to the most important questions of your life. Hi, I'm Murphy. You may have heard of me and my law. It never stops. That's why I called EverythingBreaks.com. EverythingBreaks.com takes care of everything. Call EverythingBreaks.com to get total home protection today. Protect 17 appliances, your choice of four major home systems. And if you sign up now for total home protection, all of your electronic devices, cell phones, laptops, tablets, gaming systems will be covered. Even electronics you may purchase in the future. It's so easy. With EverythingBreaks.com, one call is all it takes. <laughs> they find the repairman, they schedule the appointment, and best of all, they pay the bill. It's awesome. Everything's protected. Now that's got Murphy written all over it. Call now and get complete coverage for everything in your home, including all your cell phones and electronic devices. Call 888-216-0924 for total home and electronics protection. That's 888-216-0924. on the go, the CBS3 mobile app. A torrent of rain combined with melting snow has caused widespread and intense flooding in Yellowstone National Park. Those flooding conditions prompting the park to close all entrances. The flooding also caused crews to cut the power. Aerial footage shows incredible damage to roads and the terrain. Several communities have been forced to evacuate, with the city of Gardner being cut off completely by road. The Montana National Guard sent helicopters to the southern portion of the state to help with evacuation and rescue efforts. And yesterday, the flooding washed out this home. You can see the water rushing along the swollen banks before finally pulling the house into the current. The park will stay closed through at least tomorrow, June 15th, that as officials insane. continue to assess the damage to roads, bridges, and other facilities. Yellowstone is gearing up to celebrate its 150th anniversary this year. The National Park is located in Montana, Wyoming, and Idaho. And meanwhile, here at home, it's the heat that has an energy grid operator worried. Midwest Independent System Operator is alerting Wisconsin power companies of potential blackouts this summer. They say part of their coverage area in northeast and central Wisconsin is at risk of energy emergencies because of what they called capacity shortfall. Ahead of extreme weather events such as heat waves, they will declare alerts or advisories to identi identify any issues in their grid. Wisconsin Public Service is one utility company that could be impacted. A spokesperson says they are prepared in case of an emergency, adding they've never been ordered to reduce the amount of electricity they are delivering. We'll be right back after the break. Closed captioning is brought to you by Essentia Health Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. When joint pain or injury becomes too much to bear, turn to Essentia Health's expert team to keep you moving forward. Hold on to your napkins, cheeseburger fans. DQ is taking taste buds for an all-out flavor ride with the new signature stack burger menu featuring five, yes, five, mouth-wowing cheeseburgers with 100% real seasoned beef. Like the loaded A1 stack burger with two amazing premium sauces. And the spicy flamethrower stack burger with oh hello jalapeno bacon. So tell your taste buds to buckle up and try the new DQ signature stack burger menu today. Get it delivered at DQ.com. DQ, happy tastes good. Hey neighbor, you switched to T-Mobile Home Internet yet? Trim your hedge. It's 50 bucks a month with no price hikes. Bam! It runs on T-Mobile's wireless 5G network. So all you got to do is plug in one cord. T-Mobile 5G home internet. Just 50 bucks a month. No price hikes, no hidden fees. I did it. Ah! I switched to T-Mobile home internet, and I am loving it. Don't sneak up on me like that. Why didn't you tell me to switch early? Access North. Over 35 years of service. You know, there's a lot going on, so you need someone who you can really trust. Access North has been great, giving us guidance on how we can give him the best quality of life. I thank the staff 
and not only the back office side, but in the daily life side has been great. Now offering traditional PCA services, personal care with complete administrative support. Call Access North today. I'm Nora O'Donnell in our nation's capital. We're here at the White House with the President of the United States. Thanks for having me. Our exclusive access to the presidential platform. We will witness yet another moment in history. The CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell from Washington, D.C. Hi, everyone. I'm Natalie Grant. I am so excited to be waking up with you every weekday from 5 to 7 right here on CBS 3. Wake up with Natalie and Peter on CBS 3. Welcome back to the CBS 3 News Live at 5. Here's a live look from Canal Park on this Tuesday evening. Let's take a look back at today's top story and see what's coming up at 6. Tonight at 5, we were at Split Rock Lighthouse's newest campground called Shipwreck Creek. It opens a whole new part of the park to visitors. Under construction since 2019, the 46 plot campsite opened to guests on June 1st. And tonight at 6, Minnesota's governor signed a bill earlier this month that redefines the rules for cannabis sales statewide. Tonight we break down what the bill means for CBD businesses and when it goes into effect. That's your news at 5. The CBS Evening News is next. We'll see you back here at 6.